Good day, YouTube, and welcome back to another video. My name is Gruntley, and in today's video, we will be attempting a long range shooting challenge. In this challenge, I will be needing to shoot from over 300 meters away, and every animal I shoot will get progressively smaller and smaller and smaller until we go from a buffalo to a duck. All you need to do right now, though, is to sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, I was just making my way down to this little river system where I know that a lot of buffalo like to drink, and I did stumble across a nice, where is it? Level six boy. Now we're 370 away, which allows us to get that a little bit closer, but it is our first animal down. So I thought I wanted to do this challenge just for the sole purpose of having something to do that's a little bit out of the ordinary when it comes to hunting in this game. You know, a lot of people can get sort of worked up just hunting and looking for the great one and all that sort of good stuff, which is awesome. And it's amazing when you finally get the great one, but why not change it up a little bit here and there and, you know, try a couple challenges to uh, make it a bit of fun. So what we're going to do is I've got the 300. Uh, we might actually take the shot at about 330 meters. Uh, makes it a little bit more impressive. But if I can get an angle on this and actually see the animal we are trying to shoot, that would also come in handy, I believe. So let's see. Let's see. So we've got this one, which we could go for a spinal shot if we really wanted to. And we have obviously um, a twerking, okay, <laughs> a bit of a twerking Cape Buffalo over there. Okay, this one he's not sure what it wants to do either. I'm thinking it's because the distance might be just enough to mess with it that little bit. But before they walk off, I think we should get the shot done. So we're only going to aim slightly high. Hopefully we can get a bit of a, a turn here on one of these guys. Maybe the level seven would be even better. Um, I think, you know what? Let's just send it. Oh. I'm thinking that was half decent. I'm not sure, but I'll get back to you guys to let you know if it was and if we catch up to it. <laughs> I think this Cape Buffalo wasn't too excited with us. No, 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 please don't. All right, looks like it's down. A nice uh, eight mythical. Okay, sure. <laughs> we take those. All right, thank you. All right, so now this is the area that we kind of shot the animal. Oh, I do see some blood over there. What we might try to do is put our dog onto the trail and hopefully we can find ourselves a dead buffalo that we shot from over 300 meters away. Now that is vital blood, which is huge. That's a good start. And it looks like that Archie is on something. So let's go have a look. Uh, let's see where Archie goes and hopefully brings us straight to our buffalo. Now that did not take long at all. It looks like Archie already found it. This animal did not move that far at all. Maybe 30, 40 meters away, which is a really good shot considering. And of course, we need to, uh, we need to praise our pup. Of course, and uh, if you can, it's always important to make sure that you uh, you pet your dog. Good job. Okay, well, I did. Okay, <laughs> so let's confirm that trophy. A nice gold 130 scoring animal. You love to see it. All right, so now we're going to make our way over to Leighton Lakes and try to find ourselves a moose. So it looks like we found our moose. The only issue is that we're only 140 meters away, which means I actually need to just back up back up, back up, and hopefully get to about 300 away to where I can take a legal shot in terms of this challenge. So let's back up a little bit here. How far are we now? What? Only 180? Oh my goodness. Okay, we might need to find either another animal or <laughs> another angle to come from and hopefully find out where we need to be to shoot this animal. So from this tree, can we see our moose? Oh my goodness, only just, but it does look like that they are 315 meters away. Now we're not going for only males this challenge. So we will try and hit that female. Now aim a little bit high because it's 315. And hopefully that was a good shot. I'll let you guys know the results. And there she is. It seems that what we did was enough to drop the girl. And uh, that's the moose ticked off. Now we're going to head over to the Yukon Valley looking for grizzly bear. All right, so if you don't know about this location, it's up at the top right of the map. This bridge, if you come up here during the drink time of grizzly bears, you find them absolutely everywhere. And that's exactly what's happened right now. Over here, we have a group of three grizzly bears. They're at 216, so I'm not going to worry about those right now. Over here, we have another two. Those are at 300 meters. We can definitely take a shot at one of those. One little glance just through here, and it looks like maybe nothing close but that's okay because this is a distance challenge but i did have 
a nice little group of is that one, two, three, four, five grizzly bears. And there is actually a nice level seven, which we might have a go at. So it is currently 309. Now, if you ask me, that is more than enough range for us to take a shot. And I think we're going to go for it. So let's pull out the 300, slide it into 300 <laughs> and take a shot at 300. Did we hit the right one? I think we did. It's the first one running, which is a good sign. We're going to keep an eye on it. And I think it might drop, hopefully soon, might even drop under the bridge. Oh, just before. Look at that. And we have a grizzly bear down. All right, let's go pick up that bad boy. It took some time, but we have finally caught up with our grizzly bear. Over 300 meters away. That is grizzly bear ticked off the list. 304.66 meters away. A very nice gold. We will take that. All right. Now we will move on to Rocky Mountain Elk. Um, a little bit of a side note here. As I'm making my way through, I did spot this little group of pronghorn, right? And a lot of threes and whatnot. A lot of threes, a lot of twos, a lot of females. But I did notice this guy. A level five pronghorn. Now... I kind of want to take it from 300 meters away, um, but I'm not sure how far I can get away from it without it going out of view. So what we're going to try to do is at least 200 meters away and then take the shot. So it's attentive right now, but we are running away. So hopefully it sort of relaxes a little bit, but 189, 190. I am happy to take the shot at this range uh, on a potential diamond. It'd be nice. Um, 200 meters away. It keeps walking towards me. We're just going to have to go for the shot. Uh, let's take a knee. Why not? Just be that little bit safer. But if it wants to go like face a little bit to the left, that'd be handy. Or otherwise I can just take the shot. I don't really mind. Yeah, we'll go for it. Uh, I think we dropped it on the spot. So uh, let's see if that thing was diamond. I really hope it was. Oh my goodness. Hopefully. I don't think it was here. I think it was over there. Uh, we can get our hands on this potential i hope it is diamond pronghorn let's go uh, let's have a look fingers crossed is it let's go it is a huge diamond there it is 6.3 above diamond and it is the dark variant it is max weight as well 65 kilos that is absolutely amazing that is going straight into our trophy lodge now we only just harvested that pronghorn, which was like by this tree. It was around here. And I did notice this guy. Now, it does seem to be at about 200 away, 288. So we are going to have to back up just a little bit. And I hope the calculations are correct. Now we are 300 meters away. Let's take the shot. Fingers crossed that is accurate. Uh, and then we can tick off Rocky Mountain Elk as well. So we're going to take a knee here, just make it a little bit. Uh, better of a shot now what you're going to want to do is you aim small miss small so we're going to aim right on that line there of its shoulder now that might have gone a little bit high but i think it is dropping it which is good that is awesome we might even see the animation there it is it's gone i did just see it roll down the hill which is awesome which means we now have rocky mountain elk ticked off the list as well and here we are we have just run up on ourselves our Rocky Mountain Elk from over 300 meters away. I think it was. Let's just confirm that. 296. Guys, I think that's close enough. Let me know in the comments if you think I should hunt this animal again. But 296, that seems close enough for me. That is awesome. Rocky Mountain Elk. Tick. We are now on to lions. So it looks like we are heading back to Africa. All right. And it looks like we have found ourselves our lion. She is fleeing. Um... I still need to get about 300 away, so I don't know if this is going to be an option for us. She might be calming down. That'd be good. Uh, but that'll be the lion ticked off. Again, it doesn't matter if it's male or female. But if she wants to stay looking like that for a while, I would gladly just decide to run up back here, turn around, and hopefully be about 300 meters away when I spot her again. 260. She does seem alert, which means she's chilling out now. She's starting to chill out, which is good for us. And hopefully really really bad for her so now we're at 288 290 if she wants to start walking that way that'll be huge that's actually kind of good we might try to take that shot um our heart rate is a little high uh, if she's gonna face me and drink okay we might not actually be right on that 
300 meter threshold. Yeah, we still have a couple of meters to go. So it does look like now through the reeds. Oh, geez. Uh, we are 300 meters away. So let's give that a shot. Siding in. Three, two, one. All right, we've taken the shot. Hopefully it was enough to do the job. I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like our health is going down much, but it is. We might have done it. Fingers crossed. We have ourselves a line down. And for good measure, let's put another one into it. And it's down. Let's go. And here she is, our dead lion. 304.24 meters. First shot hit the right lung. The second shot hit the left lung. Both were over 300 meters away, which is absolutely awesome. You love to see it. There we go. That is line ticked off. Now we're going to make our way over to Caribou. All right. As I'm making my way across this bridge, I did have a look and I saw this Caribou. Now you'll be seeing this after I've shot an elk and a lion, but I thought, hey, why not harvest it now while I'm here? So I've got my 30 odd six on me. I'm going to range for 300, take the shot at that, and then we'll go pick that one up as well. I feel like that was a good shot. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right. It's it's hurt. It's definitely hurt. Uh, you know, it's heads down. And I think that was a good shot. I think that was a good shot. Now, as you can tell, this bridge has been very, very, very good to us. And you will see it later on in the video that it has been amazing to us. But here is the caribou all done and dusted a nice silver. I actually thought you couldn't use the 300 on caribou. So this is good to know. This is good news. All right. It was at 305 meters. We got it easy done. Let's move on to white tail deer. So getting that little, little bit smaller, probably about a hundred kilo weight difference. Let's check it out. It looks like we have found ourselves some white tail. Now there's two males. There were two males. There's one there. And there's that one there. I'm going to go for this one here. It's at 314, 315 at the moment. So hopefully by the time we get to maybe these ferns, we should be at about 300 meters away. Um, am I correct? Yeah, pretty much bang on. So we're at 302 meters according to that. Uh, we might be a little bit closer. I'm just going to back up a little bit more just in case. Then we're going to pull out the 30 at 6 here. Make sure it's sided into 300 meters. Side in. And hopefully we can clip a lung here. Otherwise we might do a little bit of tracking. So here we go. I feel like that was a good shot. It felt like a good shot. It might not have been a good shot. And we might have to do a little bit of tracking. Oh my goodness. Unless I can get another shot off maybe. Ah, that one did just clean miss. Clean miss. Clean miss. It does look like it's dropping though, which is a good sign. So fingers crossed we can catch up to it and it will be uh, deaded. So it looks like I've just found the blood. We are going to put our dog to maybe hopefully find it. Archie, you can do it uh, because it wasn't the best shot, but it did do the job, I think, um, which is good, I guess. But I do feel bad that we weren't able to get a good shot on the animal, but it's fine. Uh, heading over this way and hopefully, well, our dog's just taken off, so I don't know what's going on. But I did put this marker down because I thought I saw it off in this direction. It looks like I was right, but it kept going. Yeah, here we go. So here's a bit more blood. And let's see if we aren't too far away at the moment. So the bleed rate is very, very, very low. Uh, I am hoping that it's just maybe over this hill. Um, typically in real life, deer won't run uphill when they've been shot because um, it just does take a little bit more effort. So usually they run down, but it does look like this guy did run up here. My boy has definitely found it. We are going to give him a bit of praise with a bit of a bit of a nice whistle there. And it does look like this shot was taken at 302 meters. It was nothing but flesh. We just didn't get enough penetration to get to a lung there, but that is expected over 300 meters. Now that that is done though, we will move right onto Puma. So I will see you either on Silveridge Peaks or Parque Fernando hunting Puma. All right, guys, it looks like we have found ourselves some mountain lions. We are going to hit either one of them it is at 300 away. So we can go a little bit closer. Hopefully they'll stand up and we'll be able to get a shot off on one of these guys. Fingers crossed. We're able to take the right shot, take your knee from about here. And hopefully we will have the distance to, uh, to make up for yeah 302 i think we'll be fine i think we'll be fine so we're gonna aim 300 meters away uh, we're gonna aim at this one here roughly where its chest would be and hopefully a bullet has entered there 
Um, I think it did the job. What do you reckon? <laughs> awesome. That is another one down. And uh, can we get another one for good measure, maybe? Uh, it looks like we can. Yeah. Awesome. All right. It looks like that this muley will fight, fight to see another day. Is that? I don't think that's the right terminology. Anyway, <laughs> we have two mountain lion slash puma here. Let's pick them up. We got one from 303 meters away. And the second one was 316 meters away. All right. While we are here on the map of Silveridge Peaks, we are going to shoot our last targeted animal, which is a mountain lion. So fingers crossed we can find it. I do know that this lake is quite good for them. So fingers crossed we will find ourselves a mountain goat here. And boy, does it look like I was right. We have quite a few mountain goats hanging out over here. Do we get lucky and find ourselves a level five? There is a nice level four. It looks like we'll just have to go for that level four. So 370 meters away. Let's get that a little bit closer and we can take a shot at range. What are you? Ah, you are still not big enough yet. Okay. So we have our level four in sight. Fingers crossed. It'll be an easy one. We can drop it very quickly and then we can move on to the next animal. But here we are 300 meters away. We're going to take a knee, pull out the 30 odd six. Set it to 300 meters away and let's get ready to shoot this mountain goat. There it is, and there it goes. See ya! And let's take out your friend. Why not? Just for a bit of fun. And we can still spot it even though it's dead. Nice. All right, let's go pick him up. And there we go. Just in front of us here, we have our mountain goat. And one looks like it's maybe woken up from the grave. I don't think so. We do have two down over here, and that is exactly what we shot. Now, the level four was this one here. So we are going to go grab this one first. The level three light brown, quite nice. 312 meters. So I dare say that this was also another 300 plus meter shot. It most definitely was on this beautiful golden mountain goat at 307.56. And you know, we got that double lung on it. You love to see it. It dropped straight on the spot. That was awesome. Now we move on to some jackals back in the hunger. All right, so we've now come over to this lake here looking for lions. Now, I haven't had much luck uh, looking for them at the moment, but that's fine because what I have found is this jackal. So you would have already seen that we've shot the lion, but on my hunt for the lion, I did find this jackal and this opportunity was too hard to pass up. So I thought, let's try to get within 300 and maybe take a shot and get this jackal done as well, which is our actually our third last animal. So I'm going to pull out the 300. We do have the rabbit next to it. We could go for both, but we might just go for the one at the moment. 300 meters away, taking a knee. It's going to be hard, but I think we might have the legs to do it. We do. We absolutely do. I'm not sure if you saw that on the top right, but that shrunk very quickly. And can we also get off the next one as well? Maybe. I don't know if that's hit. I don't know if that hit. Ah, uh, no, we do see a rabbit still running off there. So it looks like we got the jackal ticked off the list as well, which is absolutely huge. So after this, we only have two left. We have ourselves the rabbit and the duck. And here we are on this jackal after a 300 meter shot. It is good to have it down. Let's check out how far that was the shot actually. 301.81. So just over that 300 meter threshold that we gave ourselves. But that is awesome. We now have our jackal done and dusted where we will now try to shoot a rabbit. And by what you'll see in the next footage is that I might have already done that. <laughs> now I've just realized as I'm heading over to that jackal is that there does seem to be a couple of rabbits. Now we've just on 300. I'm taking a knee. Hopefully my dog will move out of the way and let's see if we can take out one of these rabbits. My heart rate is still a little bit high. So let's let that calm down and then we will try to take a shot at a rabbit, the second last animal here in our challenge. All right, let's give it a go. Rabbit down. And there is our rabbit 50 meters ago to pick it up after a 300 meter shot. Let's double check the distance on that. But after this animal, we are then heading over to the Yukon to try to find ourselves a Harlequin duck. Let's see how we go. What was the distance on this one? 302 meters. You love to see it. That chestnut color 
is very nice. All right, hopefully I will see you with a dead Harley Quinn duck. All right, it seems that as we're on our way to pick up this caribou, we might jump forward and take out the last animal that's on our list. Now, as you can see, it's about 300 meters away. I'm gonna use the 300. Let's see if we can take out this duck. Yep, let's go for that one. I think we hit one. Let's go. It was uh, definitely first shot, I promise. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Now I guess we sit here and wait for it to float straight to us. All right, let's see if we can intercept this duck halfway through. Saves it a little bit of time. But here we go, this duck from about 300 meters away 312 a silver it would have been gold except we shot it with a 300 but there we go that is the challenge done and dusted i want to thank you all so much for popping by if you did like this video please consider hitting that hitting that like button if you did like this video please consider hitting that like button commenting and even subscribing on the channel thank you guys so much and i will see you all in the next video bye